everybody this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to do another flat brush flower uh, purpose of this video is to just give you some ideas on different ways and different techniques this is going to be using a three-quarter flat brush number 12 brush and a number one liner brush Paints I'm using today are Cerulean Blue, Wicker White, Happy Green, and Thicket. Now, I've cleaned off the glass. That's important when you're glass painting. Make sure you clean off your glass well. Wash it with soap and water. Maybe clean it off then with some rubbing alcohol and you're ready to go. All right, so let's get started. For this video, I am, sorry, hit that, my camera stand. I am loading this brush really well with the Cerulean Blue. And then I'm going to just dip it in to the white. Hopefully it works this time. I've had to redo this video and redo it and redo it. All right, so I'm spreading these out and coming back down. Awesome. Okay, I don't know what the deal was with my brush earlier, but you're pushing it down. You can even give it a little wiggle, push it up, and then come back down. Now this one didn't do it as well, but we'll go like that. So you don't get the same look all the time, but that's okay. And then I'm going to stick it into the white again. Do my brush again, pulling it, pushing it. Come on, I want to get a nice little drag there. There we go. And let's put some more blue on it too. Dip it into the white. And then come over here. I'm just kind of staggering these. And see, for some reason, it doesn't want to do it. When I do have paper, it works great. Yeah, I'll just push it, but I'm pushing it down, turning it. You can turn it and then pull it back. Let's see, it's not doing that. Okay, and pull it back. I might even want to put a little more white into this one. So you can just keep working it too. I mean, if you don't get the look that you want, of course, you always have the option to wash it off and do it again. I'm really good at that one. Or you can just keep working with it. Alright, so I'm pushing it down, spreading it out, and then pushing it up and bringing it back. Now this one came out to be a little short too. Not sure why, but we're going to do it again. And I know this is a big container. This is a big glass container that I'm, I'm working on. So anyways, I'm going to kind of wiggle it out here a little bit to get some, and then do that. Not exactly. The first one I did was perfect not so happy with this last one but we'll just have to make the best of it right working it out here all right I did not like that one so I went ahead stopped the video and wash it off because I'm not happy with it all right so then we're gonna put this last one in here hopefully I can get it to go I'm pushing my brush down as you see I've got it here I'm kind of wiggling it spreading it out and then pulling it back Still, it's not great, but it's like, what is wrong with this? Let me try it one more time here. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to wiggle my brush some. See, even people that paint all the time get frustrated at times. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, that's a little bit better. All right, so then the next thing you're going to do is take your number 12 flat brush. You're going to go into the same colors. And I did just dip either side into one into the blue, one into the white, and then blend, did the blending strokes like this. And then what I'm going to do is go back over these flowers and, and come down a little bit or I can just go over the top of them. So that's what I'm going to do. Oops, and I'm dipping them wrong. 
dipping them wrong. Alright, so then here we go again. And I'm going to just go like this. Turn it and go like that. Do the same to this one since I'm already facing this way, pretty much. I think it's cute. See, let's, let's get some interesting looking flowers, right? Of course, why not? Why not, right? Alright, I'm going to do that here. And then pull it up that way. And last but not least, do this one. Do some blending strokes. And finish this one off. Alright. I mean, I think those are, those are cute. Now, for like some little buds, if you want to put little buds, and I have a mixture of that blue and wicker white together in my brush still, I can just pop over here and then just do uh, just some little folds on the chisel edge of the brush. And I mean, if you want to make them a little bit wider, you can. Or you can just have it as a single. Not a big deal. However you want to do it. Alright, so again, as I promised, this is going to just be an easy, easy, easy one. You're going to take your number 12 flat brush and then you're going to load it with the Happy Green and the Thicket. Once again on this one, I am not using yellow, but before I do that part, I forgot a part. Sorry, we're going to take a step back here. I'm using my, my liner brush. And kind of like what I did in the, the last video, I'm just coming in here and putting in like the green stems and um, you know the base of the flowers, how they're attached to the stems. Very easy. And I do use a combination of both of the greens in this. Again, just to stress, and I can't stress that enough, the thicker the, the paint is, the more opaque, the more thickness does contribute to it being um, easier to use, I, I guess, as far as not scratching it. It minimizes the scratching because uh, when it's thicker, it doesn't scratch as easily. So just so you know, that definitely makes a difference. Putting the same kind of bottom on these. And then I'm going to come back over here, do the same thing. And there is a tad bit of blue in this too. Like I said, I, I like when there's a, a mixture of colors into the paints. It's okay. It doesn't all have to be one or two shades. Definitely think there's more interest if you have more than one color. But these are very easy bottoms to put on. Again, such simple designs. Very simple. Now I like to roll my, my liner brush. Um, meaning you know, just to try to keep the brush as thin as, as I can. And then I'm going to just draw in some light lines. Just quick strokes. Do the same over here. Just quick, 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 quick strokes. Again, with doing this, I do wash off my gloss and use it again for videos. So, if you see any excess paint kind of lingering, that's why. It's just so that I don't, because I don't sell these. 
if I sold them then obviously I wouldn't wouldn't do that. I do sell the painted glass glasses. Um, but I had to kind of stop making those for right now because I have so many of them and trying to sell them. I just need to get rid of some of them before I can continue making more. My house is getting full of glass. You can only have so much, right? Then we have so much. Alright, so we're going to do this. Now you can just have these going in like that. You can have it like, oops, I don't want that. Did not. Don't mind a little blue, but I didn't want that in their stem. Have them come like that. There we go. And here we go. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you stay till the end, I do have a link for you. Something I'm starting to try to, to offer on my videos just for added help if you feel like you need it. Like I said, and you can add some extra little stems in here. Just kind of like I did with the other one. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's the, the video right before this one. You might want to go back and check it out. I do provide links down in my down in underneath this video in the comment area. Feel free to check it out. And you can just do other little marks. Like I said on, on glass, it's a little, little more difficult because of wanting to get the good coverage. So I have to make sure I do layer it a little bit like this so you it stays on. Then we can add in some round brush leaves like that and do some leaves that go up. I'm sorry, my furnace is getting ready to start. It's loud. I do apologize. Please don't leave. Now again, if I were going to be, <coughs> excuse me, using this item, I would definitely make sure that my design was all around the whole thing and not just on part of it. I'm just doing the front because it's a video. I'm not going to, I'm sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. I apologize. I'm not going to do that it's just you know for the purpose of doing the video. But just know that if I were going to be <coughs> I'm sorry doing this and using the item, I would definitely Do the, I would definitely do the design all the way around and do, do more. I mean, it's very light. So now I'm going to add in some of my bigger leaves. And they're easy. If you're someone who wants to practice and you know, maybe you're you're watching this and you're saying, I just don't get it. I would say, get yourself some wax paper and practice on that. It's actually an awesome product, cheap and awesome to practice on. Uh, let's 
Let's see, I just want to do some different different techniques or different types of leaves here. And they're all going to be wiggly. Sorry. But what I want to do here is this kind. Do it again. So on this one you have the dark edges on one side and light on the other. See how that, I mean, it, it creates a really neat looking leaf. I'm just going to put a stem right up to it. I'm not going to put it through it because I feel like sometimes the leaves, with the way they're painted, it's, it's sufficient enough, it's good enough without having to add anything else. And then this one is going to be is going to be one of these. I'll do it again. Do it again. There you go. That's kind of a little hard for me to see here. It's a little bit of glare. And basically I'm just pushing it down and wiggling it and then bringing it up. Hopefully it's looking okay. I think I might have worked it too much there. I want to work the paint off. On this type, uh, you know, you can just kind of add a little bit of a stem like right in there. I wouldn't do too much of a stem. Now, with this liner brush, what I'll do then on the flowers, is come in here, and that's still the paint's still a little wet, so that's going to pull some of the blue, but that's okay. Just put some little, I like the little tendrils or stamens, whatever, however you call the little pieces you find inside the flower. And you can do them higher, lower, two or three, four or five, whatever. And I'm just, just doing a quick little pull, pulling them down, pulling them sideways, curvy, whatnot. Doing the same over here, except for each one. And then and if you want, you can come back in with the darker or with the lighter green. And then just kind of try to swoop it, just to give it some, some more color. And again, you've got the issue with the blue. And if that's an issue for you, then either give it some drying time or get it with the hair dryer, heat gun, whatever you feel the need. And a lot of times I find myself when I do this and I'll go back over it a little bit because I got too much of the lighter green. That's okay though. And you could even do it where you have just maybe even thinner lines and you do a dotting on them. That would be cute too. But I think you get the gist of it, right? And then, like I said, if you wanted to add maybe even another color in, you could still do the liner brush and just do some cute little pulls, you know, just little touches here and there, or do it with another color. doesn't have to be the blue, but I'm keeping it simple. Do it like that. Alright, so there you go. Another simple, 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 simple design that, you, that anyone can paint.
very easy, very simple. Takes a couple brushes and a few bottles of paint and you're ready to go. If this was an item that you were going to use, gift away, sell it, whatnot, make sure that if you're going to bake it, you put it in a cold oven after you've allowed the paint to cure for an hour. Then you turn the oven on, add the preheat time to the bake time. When it's finished baking, then what you do is turn the oven off and let it cool completely before you pull out the glass. The ch sudden change in temperature is, is what can cause the, the glass to break. Alright, I hope you like this. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you um, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. And then share the video after you're done watching it. Hit that share button that's underneath and share it with all your friends and family. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. I appreciate you. And until the next time, you have a good one.